bishop, Bishop Stokes, and many other Episcopal bishops in the country are actively working for gun control. So there is a network of the bishops. They talk all the time. And at 9 a.m. Nevada time, the church, Episcopal churches are going to be tolling their bells uh, in honor of the victims from, from Las Vegas. So we're going to do it at 12 noon so we can be pretty much on, on the same time frame. Mother Karen is in Ireland, but she sent this uh, information, this poem, that I'd like us all to read today. I can read it or we can participate in reading it together. And I just put together just a very small, somber, religious beginning. Not only will we pray for the 59 victims, but we're going to ring the bell 60 times and pray for the soul of the perpetrator. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Grant to all who mourn a sure confidence in thy fatherly care, that casting all their grief on thee, they may know the consolation of thy love. Amen. Give courage and faith to those who are bereaved, that they may have strength to meet the days ahead in the comfort of a reasonable and holy hope, in the joy joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. Amen. Would you like me to read it or do you want to read along? Yeah. We all read it together as best we can. And this came from a website called Gifts in Open Hands. I didn't have the author's name to share, sorry to say. This is written in the and the Via Della Rosa that is Las Vegas today, we pray. God,
finished the 60, or would you like to continue ringing? We've got another 50. We have 39. Some of the emails I received in the last day, people asked to not only remember these souls that were massacred, but to also say a prayer for everything else that's going on in, in the world. Folks in Puerto Rico and Texas and Florida and Mexico and places that we never hear about, but there's hunger and famine and death. So you could just take a moment to say a prayer for all of those souls. That would, that would be good. We can then finish with an Our Father and then from, from the Book of Common Prayer. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ to whom he, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.